All right, what's up, everyone? Freeze Finder here, and today we're gonna be playing Smora Kela and Gaflorat. Ooh, so yeah, for today, I'm gonna be checking out the buffed freeze thrower. Then I'm just gonna be playing it on Ya Boy Krampus Lair. But first, I do want to mention that Killing Flora actually came out with a, a, a plush. Plushies? I'm in luck at this man. Okay, so this is the plushie I was freaking talking about and when you actually want to order it, I mean it is, you know, $19.99. Not that expensive, but... Yep, you go to checkout and my god, $57. Ah, fuck this shit, man. Okay, so that store might actually be US only and that's why the shipping for me because I'm in Europe is probably a bit too much. But yeah, I'm not like sponsored to say that, you know, they have like plushies now because I mean, although that would be cool, probably never again happen. But I'm just like letting you know if you are interested in that for whatever reason. Oh, I'm just like avoiding them. Ain't even trying here. So yeah, freeze thrower. I don't know why. They just like buffed it or nerfed it or whatever. We're just gonna check that out today. It was like a weapon I never really used. I mean, occasionally I would use it just for, you know, the freaking memes, but other than that, yeah, not my style. Oh. Well, there they go. Dude, I just like hate starting with the survival is because, my god, the randomness of weapons is. pretty, pretty bad. I mean, fair enough, the Winchester is not like the worst thing ever. You can still bash with it at least. But I would much rather have an HX or like a shotgun or something. Okay, let's go into the tunnel just to like funnel them up. Throw that. Off jet. Okay, my mind just like blew up. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, got four more dudes. Let's chop off your freaking kneecaps. Oh, did you puke and missed? All right, the man. And it has been a while since my last video and that was pretty much... I mean, I don't really have an excuse. I mean, killing floor doesn't have that much content to it, so I just struggle to come up with unique stuff. But I am checking out some, you know, other games. Because Killing Floor 2, as we all pretty much know it, yep, it's going to be dying in 2021. So yeah, put Funder is gonna have to look for alternatives. So yeah, this bad boy actually received some buffs. So yeah, rate of fire of default fire has been reduced by 30%. Minimum ammo consumption of default fire reduced from 4 to 3. Alt fire damage type changed from freeze to ballistic shotgun. Alt fire base damage increased from 20 to 35 per ice shard. Like I just have to like pause the game now. The number of shards of alt fire reduced from 12 to 9. The spread of alt fire shards reduced by 20%. Default fire horizontal recoil reduced by 30%. And alt fire vertical recoil increased by 50%. Okay, so this thing is more of like a damage dealer now. I mean, honestly, yeah, I'm just gonna go by feel on this weapon because that's pretty much how you go with this weapon. Okay, so you're gonna be like a one shot now, right? Nope, not really. I mean, fair enough, they did say it's now a ballistic shotgun type. Okay, boy. Okay, you can still bash with it, so that's always pretty nice. I mean, it still freezes like the same. I thought they were just gonna, like, ruin that for some reason. Oh, I can feel, like, the recoil when you shoot with the old fire. That is a little bit... Well, yeah, on the bad side. I mean, it's still a good-ass freaking weapon. You can just, like, freeze pretty much when you click at something. So that's always cool. So yeah, the freeze thrower, yeah, this weapon was always just a support weapon. And you could occasionally kill some big things. But for me, this thing was always... Well, I just unreliable for some reason. Okay, we got some stalkers. Can I freeze them up? Nope, just gonna bash him instead. I just have to, like, fully upgrade it to see, like, how it is gonna work that way. Okay, got some ammo. Let's just bash you. Maybe shoot you instead. Dude, this thing just feels like a freaking shotgun. Okay, let's just go in, freeze everything up, adjust like that, maybe shoot the siren. Cause she do be annoying. Okay, how many shots do you take? Like, I think I like shot him before, so that doesn't really count. Dude, I hate when he just like blocks, he just like blocks. Well, yeah, the freeze. Ooh. Yep, Spooder just got void. So yeah, with the survivalist, yep, this is... I mean, if it suits your playstyle, it's a very nice Farrakhan weapon. The biggest question for the freeze thrower is going to be how well it's going to perform against Scrakes and Fleshy Punts. But yeah, like I said before, I'm not entirely sure how this weapon was like performing before this buff. So you guys can let me know. <gasps> okay, that's not too bad. Oh, nice, easy. Okay, I do hear a Skrooky Skrook. Oh, and there he is. My man. 
And the creature is gonna freeze you, kill you, how... Okay, that's like quite, quite consistent. I mean, the freeze thrower is like always the daddy of, you know, freezing things. I mean, the frost fang was in the lead by a little bit. So yeah, the old fire doesn't actually freeze anymore because they changed it from freeze to shotgun. So yeah, beforehand, this old fire actually could, you know, freeze some things. But how it is currently, yep, it cannot anymore. So do keep that in mind. Okay, bloat. No, and he's just like blocking my freezy bits. Yeah, it's actually a viable weapon, I feel. Boy. Okay, that was like a little bit too... Too close to him. Okay, just like shot something else. But I still don't know how I feel about this weapon, to be quite honest here. I've been killing Florida, it's just like that game that every single weapon can be viable if you just... Will you play in a good group? Or you're just like good to the game by default? So yeah, do let me know in the comments how you guys feel about the current Ferry Thrower. Okay, Spoder Plus. Okay, just gonna throw that. Uh, just in case. Oh, it's a Skrooky Skrook. Not sure how he got, you know, like, raged. But, I mean, there he goes. In Pepero. I'm just, like, stuck. But, yeah, pretty much the stuff you don't need to freeze. Yeah, just don't even bother freezing them. But, I mean, for little things. I mean, go right ahead, because it's just going to be, like... Like three taps and they're dead. Okay, so if I just like shoot you with this, it does take like what? Three of my ammunition away. And if I shoot with the alt fire, yep, it takes ten. So yeah, the alt fire, yep, it stayed the same. But this one, instead of using four, it only uses three. When you just like click with it. So overall, is the freeze thrower worth it? I'd say yes. Okay, let's just go into my favorite uh, camping spot, which is uh, right up here. I mean, to be fair, this spot works way freaking better in a group. But even in solo... Yeah, you can just, like, jump in the hole. Hopefully, I'm not gonna die here, because that's going to be quite, quite depressing. But I guess uh, we shall see. Oh, this thing's a freaking damage dealer. I mean, fair enough, it's not meant to be shot at range. But what can I do? It just feels like I'm playing the firebug. But instead of, you know, burning them up, I'm freezing them up. I still don't know how ice shards are supposed to be like a shotgun projectile, but a sure thing. I mean, it works. Easy. Oh my god, can I freeze the Edar? Can I freeze the Edar? No, I can't. Oh, he actually got frozen. <laughs> nice. Oh, that's a lot of usk. And I just like threw a healing grenade at him. Not like that's gonna do anything. Never mind. Okay, we got a couple of fleshy poons. Can I actually freeze you before you're gonna run away? Oh, I got, like, sandwiched from behind. Okay, time to... Will you move a little bit? Yeah, boy. Oh, no, man. Ow. Let me out. Yep, not sure exactly why I just, like, pulled out a knife. But I did. Okay, quarter point. Okay, there we go. No, oh, and my man just killed my quarter point. Flash point plus, we can talk about this, or like some cup of coffee or something. Okay, you know what, I'm just gonna freeze your ass. And maybe even the Skrook. Oh my god, they just don't give up. Oh. But yeah, this thing, once you actually... Will I have like a group of flesh bones and they're like raging at your ass? It's suddenly not that good. Oh my god, now I just got like three more flesh bones, they just like killed everything else. Okay, time to freeze. Okay, I killed like one. And I just ran out of ammo. Okay, can I actually kill you without even freezing you up? Probably. Okay, one shot. And I missed. That way I didn't miss, it just didn't kill him. Okay, freeze you up, come on. And he just like raged. Minor uh, setback. I mean, they still got clapped. So yeah, this thing extremely good in a 1v1 situation, but... One versus like two or three. Yeah, you're better off having other weapons. Okay, so that's so that ought to fill, and I feel like the freeze thrower by itself is going to be quite depressing. So I'm just gonna get I know the kaboom stick, and we should be good to go. Well then, which unlucky boss is it gonna be? Oh, patriarch! Oh, this dude can be frozen. Yep, this is gonna be pretty pretty easy. How do you have that already? No, oh, and he's just like blocking my my freeze bits. And up he comes. My god, man. But can you not, like, freeze the dude? Or he just takes, like, a whole freaking lot of this. Oh my god, Patriarch, please. 
Wait, what? Oh, I can see his, like, freaking meat. Yep, and there he goes, Patriarch, man. So, obviously, I was playing solo here, but in multiplayer, yeah, this thing is surprisingly good. And I do actually recommend you guys going and trying this weapon out, because... Well, yeah, like I said before, yeah, I just don't know how I feel about it yet. But yeah, this is pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did enjoy, then be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and see you guys next episode. Adios.